हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पेस्टिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज द प्रीवर्स एंड द वुडवर्ड रिएजेंट एंड प्रीवर्स एंड द वुडवर्ड रिएक्शन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर योर एम एस सी एज वेल एज योर नेट सिलेबस सो स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इज दिस प्रीवर्स एंड द वुडवर्ड रिएजेंट सो लेट अस डिस्कस दिस लिटिल बिट लाइक वॉट वेन वी आर सेंग दैट वुडवर्ड एंड द प्रीवर्स reagent so when you see the flavors both are written together so if we say that what is woodward and the prevost reagent so generally if we talk about the reagent so they are the combination of our silver salts like silver acetate or it can also be your silver benzoate along with the iodine and water so and just they are having uh, almost similar things but little bit different like in the prevost what you will get in the prevost we will have it is a combination of our silver acetate or our silver benzoate c6h5cwag along with the iodine but here water is not required means this conditions are uh, this reactions takes place in the presence of any moist acetic acid or anything while previous reaction does not required any moisture okay so just we can say that previous reaction is a chemical reaction in which an alkene is converted to vicinal diols by iodine and the silver salt of benzoic acid with anti stereochemistry so now this important term that you will get vicinal diol so when we will talk about this reaction in details we will see that this is the these are the reaction in which any alkene will get converted to diols vicinal diols so students vis means i hope you uh, studied in your bsc and all so when we say that jam dihalide means when any group is present on the same carbon atom suppose if it is your c w c o h okay so if any carbon is having two o h on the same carbon atom so this type of the group is known as jam these are the jam diols okay on the same carbon atom oh are attached but if we say that this reaction you will get the vis diols means you will get the diols but both the oh groups will be present on the different different carbon atom so one more important thing if we talk about the prevost and the woodward reagents so in the case of our prevost you will get the product as the trans okay so you will get trans diols and in the case of your woodward you will get the cis diols means this is the product for the prevost any alkenes if we convert the alkenes in the presence of our prevost reagent you will get the trans product and if we will convert the alkene in the presence of our woodward reagent you will get our cis diols means i hope uh, this structures are familiar with you when both the oh groups are present on the same side we can say that this is a cis diols but if the condition is like this they are known as trans diols this group will represent oh group above the plane of the paper when there is solid wedge na so this is above the plane of paper and when this dashed wedge is present it means that the group is present below the plane of paper so if both the oh groups are present below the plane of paper that will be the cis diols and if one is above the plane of paper one is below the plane of paper that is our trans diol so students and one more thing when we will talk about the reaction we will represent our we know that ch3 c double o ag this is our silver acetate so when we uh, study the reactions we will write ch3 co by our acetyl group you know that ch3 c double o is acetyl group uh, you remember acetyl chloride so what is acetyl chloride ch3 co cl this is our acetyl chloride so ch3 co group can also be written as ac so generally when we uh, looks in the reference books and all so you will find it like ac o ag so what is meaning of this formula silver acetate okay so don't get confused what is this ac why this o is written separately so this way we represent in the textbook we have reading in this manner so now let us see the details of our previous and the woodward reaction so students 
our prevost reaction is a chemical reaction in which an alkene is converted to vicinal diols by iodine and the silver salt of benzoic acid or also we can write here acetic acid with anti stereochemistry anti stereochemistry means one oh will be below the plane and other oh will be above the plane so the prevost reaction is first of all given by our french chemist charles prevost and the prevost reaction involves a anti hydroxylation of alkenes using iodine silver benzoate peroxy acid under the water free condition so the important condition in the prevost you have to write is that the conditions are anhydrous and this as we know that in this group we are adding oh so this is also known as hydroxylation of alkenes means when we are adding our oh groups to any alkenes this is known as hydroxylation because oh group is known as hydroxy group so the addition of an oh group to any alkene is known as hydroxylation so generally when you search in nat and other so you will get woodward prevost hydroxylation hydroxylation means addition of oh groups so just we can see the first example for our prevost reaction so just we can represent any alkene r1 r2 r3 r4 groups in the presence of our iodine or we can take any alkyl alkyl salt of our silver sorry we can take any silver salt or in the benzene solution so what you will get first you will get an acyl intermediate this is our what group this is our r c double o a g group so first acyl group will get attached and in the presence of base what they will get convert to our trans diols so next reaction cyclohexene gives trans diols we are talking about the prevost so i hope prevost to you uh, it is clear in prevost you will get the trans product so when any cyclohexene is treated with the prevost reagent you will get first acyl intermediate first oac groups is attached if you are taking silver acetate or silver benzoate anything with our iodine or in the carbon tetrachloride so it will give you what type of the product we will get a trans diol so you will get cyclohexene is converted to trans diol so the what is the main that any alkene is getting converted to our diols by removing one double bond we can add any two groups so under the anhydrous condition reagents converts alkene into diacetyl diabenzoyl derivative so this is our diacetyl derivative if we will use our benzoyl so we can say it as a dibenzoyl derivative and after the base hydrolysis or uh, will get converted to our trans diols so next example for the prevost you can write down so if any compound we are taking here if this is any pro compound and just to one important thing that this uh, reagents will not disturb the other group position so here we know where which double bond we want to eliminate suppose we want to remove this double bond this so what will happen we will uh, treat this compound with the prevost reagent double bond will be added trans at the trans position means it will you the product will give you the trans diols so one is above the plane and one is below the plane so solid wedge kya represent karta what represents above the plane of the paper and this represents the below the plane of paper similarly one more example you can see this is any organic compound and both the methyl group will not disturb but the double bond will be replaced by the two oh groups one is above the plane of the paper and one is below the plane of the paper so prevost you will get the trans product and in the uh, word word we will see you will get a your cis product so now let us see the details of our woodward let us talk about the woodward reagent or woodward reaction so what is the woodward reagent it is a solution of iodine and silver acetate or silver benzoate in the moist acetic acid is known as woodward reagent and we can simply say that the conversion of alkenes to cis 1 to diols and the conditions are hydrous and we need water in this reaction so any alkenes first one oac group will get attached to it and then it is getting converted to cis 1 to diols similarly now just we can see this example of it cyclohexene gives cis diols in the prevost we get the trans diols product but in this woodward 
reaction any cyclohexene we will take and we will apply our woodward reagents you will get our product as a cis diols both the oh groups are present on the same plane either they will be present below or above so it is a solid wedge both oh group present in the above the plane of the paper next example oleic acid on oxidation under the woodward condition gives your erythroisomers so this is the structure of oleic acid that is our ch3 ch2 whole 7 this side also ch2 whole 7 7 CWH. So we can say that when we are adding, applying in the Woodward reagent, this alkene 2 OH group will get attached, but both the groups will be on the same side of the double bond. Double bond will remove, and both the OH group presents will get attached on the same side. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope uh, the video is easy. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe the channel. If you have not subscribed the channel, do share with your friends.